Hi, Veloblogger here again. Just uh, going to take a look at the back end of the Y. Realize that I haven't shot any footage of that, and I had to open it up because I had a frayed cable on my roll-off hub, so I had to replace the cable system on it. And shout out to Anywhere Bike Repair in my town. He was able to come to my place and help me get that taken care of. So super awesome. So if you're in my area and you live around me, Anywhere Bike Repair, great concept. They come to you, they fix your bike. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, back end of the wall here. So here's the back end of the wall with the new suspension from Katanga. Take a look at it here. Profile. Couple things, uh, so the air shock here. Right now it's in a locked position so you don't get as much travel in the suspension. And then there's an open position where you really get some travel, uh, a lot more travel with it. Now, from what I've read about the shock system, uh, when you have it in a lock position, the reason why you'd want that and less travel in the suspension is then it doesn't bounce as much and you don't lose as much speed. Whereas when you have more travel and more bounce, you lose a lot of your speed because it's getting absorbed through that back end. Uh, so I actually keep it in a lock position because it gives you enough travel where it takes some of the bumps out of the road. It's not gonna take them all out, but it's still a comfortable ride. The other thing I want to show you is the rear hub i've got the internal mech uh, the roll off speed hub 14 gears uh, the reason why i had to pull this off in the first place is like i said i had to replace the shifting cable and the reason why is when i first installed this this used to be setting where this end was facing up like this which caused a real severe bend in the cables as it went down and into the back of the wall that bend eventually broke one of the little tiny cable lines that then twirled up, twirled up, twirled up, frayed, and caused all kinds of headaches to the point where it just stopped shifting. I didn't realize that when I originally put the back wheel on that there's this little notch. Let's see if I can reach in here. It's hard to do while you're looking through a camera. But anyway, here, this way. There's this little notch on the plate here, and it goes around that bolt Let's see if I can see that end there. So there's a notch and it sits on that bolt that's part of this whole bracket and it holds this external, the external shifting mech in place to where it keeps it really nice and straight and everything does not bend and get damaged. So if you do get a wah and you put on that back tire, make sure you take that little notch right there make sure you put it onto that bolt there to hold it in place and that's the way it should look like when you put on your back tire on a wall with a roll-off hub so just a little advice from me to you <laughs> something I learned the hard way other than that I do also have the chain protector here that goes on the back end I'm gonna get this bolted on so you could see exactly how, how, how that looks so here's the back end with that chain protector on. It just bolts on a few different bolts, one, two, three, and four. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't come down and cover the chain. The way the old one, the original one, before they built the rear suspension, it bolted to the back of the wah here, and it looked like it really covered that chain uh, really nicely, kind of came up and around from the elements and stuff. So I don't know how much this really is helping protect it. Maybe from when you're going down the road, the backsplash and stuff, it's, it's stopping it from getting into the upper part of the chain. But the chain has, as you can see, has remained fairly pretty clean, free of gunk. Uh, so, uh, but it could use a good cleaning here. So again, I don't know if I was to order it again, if I would order that back chain protection or if it needs to come down further or not. But that's uh, Katanga's design, and it seems to work uh, pretty well so far for what I needed. So that's the rear end of the wall. Hope you enjoy, and as always, ride safe and ride free.